Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to utilize the Bitscap signals feature when day trading cryptocurrencies. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is a trading platform that offers a wide variety of features uh, that include bots, arbitrage, actual trading from the platform. You can connect your exchanges directly to the platform with API keys so your money's secure. But today I'm focusing on the signals feature. And in order to use the signals feature, you will need their basic uh, subscription of $19 a month. And you'll see that it does include the trading signals. In addition to it, it includes two active trading bots. Now, I will leave a link down in the description below. And if you use that link, you can sign up and get 14 day free trial. And from there, you can decide if you want to stick with the program. Now, what is Bitscap's trading signals feature? It basically is a algorithm that looks for anomalies in the price action of uh, cryptocurrencies. And those anomalies, as far as I can tell, could be spikes in volume, uh, breaking of support or resistance, and a variety of other triggers. Now, with that all being said, before we get too far into the weeds, I want to stress this video is being made for educational purposes. Your results will most likely not represent my results. And the reason I say that is I have over 20 years experience trading in a variety of markets, including several years in cryptocurrency. I have been reading charts for over 20 years, and I am familiar with a lot of the patterns that occur on charts and what they actually mean. In addition to all those years of experience have made me very disciplined and patient. So in reality, I'm showing you these weapons you could add to your armory when you're doing your recon when you're day trading cryptocurrencies. So let's get to it. And to get to the signals page, you just click on signals in the toolbar at the top of the page and you will immediately see signals that have been triggered by the algorithm based on those anomalies that they're looking for. And in this case, we can see OGN BNB on the Binance exchange it was triggered three minutes ago. So we can click on this particular signal and it will pull up the chart and we'll go ahead and expand this chart. And we can see looking at the five minute chart, it is triggered right back in here. And most likely it is this move upwards that triggered the signal. So a momentum trader may find this interesting and try to jump in and ride the momentum up. Now, looking at this chart to me, there's not nearly enough volume for me to get involved with this. this and if it was a pump and dump, the lack of volume makes it difficult to get out of the position perhaps. So this would not be an interesting setup for me so let's jump back over to the signals page and as you can see as far as the strength of the signal they basically have three levels they have these three bars that are kind of yellow they have four bars which are green which would be a stronger signal and then let's see if i can find they have the two bars which seems to be a fairly weak signal and you can actually sort by signals by clicking on level and then you'll get all the four bar signals to pop up. And here we see XEM, BTC was 10 minutes ago. Again, on Binance, it's already gone up 0.61%. So let's take a look at this particular signal. Now, this is a coin I'm familiar with, so I'd feel far more comfortable trading this particular pair. In this case, it looks like the trigger occurred up here on the five minute candle and therefore maybe a little spike in volume as well. However, for me, I'm not a momentum trader per se. Uh, it does also look to have broken over a level. If we look back, it may have also broke resistance and therefore these multiple signals could be what triggered the actual alert. And in this case, this could be a great breacher trade, but I will caution you, if I were to take on this trade, I would have an extremely tight stop loss, probably right here at the bottom of these two candles. And this type of a trade, I wanna be right. And if I'm wrong, I want out. 
as quickly as possible. And that would be a pretty good level because if you look back at where that level is, it's right at prior resistance. So resistance becomes support often, uh, but not always. So that is a possible entry that you could take and you might wait for the next green candle to confirm a breakout. But again, that's all things I look at. I don't know your style of trading. Those are things you need to do your recon on and make your own strategic decision. And so the way I would use these signals is to collect recon information. More than likely, I'm not going to just trade on the fact that, oh, hey, look, this has four green bars. It's a strong signal. I'm getting in. It's just alerting me to a possibility. I need to look at other things like it broke resistance. There's a spike in volume. What else might be affecting the market at the moment? The purpose of these signals in my trading strategy is just more recon, more information. And so let's look at another way to sort. We can sort by how much the price has gone up or down. In this case, it's down. Here's some signals that you can see where the price has gone up a pretty good percentage since being triggered. So six hours ago, this signal went off and has since gone up almost 31%. So let's take a look and you can see it's four green bars. So let's see what the chart looks like. Again, a very thinly traded cryptocurrency it looks like. And here is our alert right here, this little green dot that you see. Now, had you gotten in on this signal, you would have had a decent run up of, let's say you were able to get out at the top here, that's 49%. Let's say you waited till it pulled back, that's 22%. As it started to move sideways, maybe you decided to get out, which would have been good because then it crashes back down. However, if you went ahead and held on, you're looking at around a 60% return at its highest point. Now it has since sold off, and now you're looking at just over... 40% had you gotten in back here when it actually triggered. Now for me, not enough volume to have gotten involved. This could very well be a quick pump and dump. We may very well see over the next day this sell off. However, I've not done my complete recon on this. I haven't seen if there's some kind of new partnership that's been formed or some kind of news that actually caused this bump up. Now we'll go back and look at a longer time frame and see what the history and so the price action has been trending up after being extremely flat for a pretty long time let's look at the one day again this is all what you this is what you need to do is go back and do your recon and we can see when it first came to market on september 18th it proceeded down and now we're pumping up Again, I'm not sure why it's pumping up. I would have to look into it and see why this is pumping. If I can find no reason for this to pump other than it's pumping, I'd probably avoid it altogether. And the fact that the volume is substantially less since it was moving sideways, that would be concerning to me as well. All right, let's, try, let's take a look at another one. All right, so Ocean has shown up here 12 minutes ago, and on both... BTC and USD on Binance. Both of them have the four bars. Let's see what the ocean chart looks like. Now, the most recent alert would be this green target right here. And you can see they've had many other green targets pop up on this particular crypto pair. But I'm more interested in the most recent one. So we'll jump down to the five minute chart. And looking at the five minute chart, more than likely this big volume spike and this move up is what caused that trigger. And we can see it's now selling back off. It may have also, if you look back, it did break a little bit of resistance on a couple different time frames, but certainly didn't get up into this area. This would be the area I'm actually more interested in seeing it break. If it broke that level, then it could be a breacher trade where it's breaking out. Uh, down here, it could just be selling off. I would be more interested in the signals. Down along the bottom where it's finding support, it would be more interesting to me. Now, this signal may not have triggered me to place a buy order, 
but it's got me looking at a chart and some possibilities where I might do a range day trade where as it approaches this level I would sell and when it approaches this level down here I would buy and I would trade within that range and basically buy the dips and sell the rip up so there's possibilities that that signal may not have been one that I would have bought on but it has me looking at a chart that may not have been on my radar previously so again another way to use the signal service from Bitsgap all right let's jump back over to the signals and so I showed you how you can search on price change you can search by exchange you can search by the level of the actual signal you can search by detected like three days ago if you're a longer term trader maybe a swing trader maybe you want to look at longer time frames uh, I'm a sh day trader so I like the shorter time frames now here's Zen just popped up BTC on hit BTC let's take a look at that chart since it was three bars versus the four green bars so we're certainly looking at this push up now this almost looks like three white soldiers to me and what that basically means three white soldiers is a chart pattern of three bullish candles in a row so that may have been what triggered this and this could truly be a breakout as it has broken above prior resistance and we're on a short time frame five minutes so you might actually want to jump out and look at the one hour and it looks similar we see building volume and there's the trigger here and we do see it breaking out above this area where it seemed to be maybe consolidating and so this could be another push up into this area all information that you're gonna have to decipher and decide the signal just gets you looking at the chart it's up to you to decipher the information and make your own decision with any of these I can't stress enough the need of stop losses and if I were to use these they'd be really tight stop losses I would basically put them right at the below whatever triggered that signal in most cases that's how I would do it and I think that gives you a pretty good idea how you can use the signals feature on Bitscap. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video I will be doing some live trading with this particular feature so be sure to subscribe if you want to catch those videos in the future now if you like this video do me a favor spike a like and as always leave comments down in the comment section down below I do try to read all the comments and lastly remember never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video